What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show Unreal Engine 5 Preview 1 running on this HP Z-Ball Fury G8. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So for this test, I wanna see how the frame rate runs when we're working in the viewport and also when we're doing interactive stuff inside of Unreal Engine 5. I did do a video benchmarking this laptop against other 3D programs, but I wanted to really run this through its paces and see how this works with Unreal Engine 5. So to get started, I'm over here in the Epic Games browser. And so I'm gonna actually come over to the Learn tab. This is in case you guys want to follow along on your system. So if I scroll all the way down to the bottom here, we have this scene called Subway Sequence. So if I click on this right here, this is gonna bring up this tab right here and it's absolutely free. So you can just click Create Project. The only caveat is this is ran in 4.27. So what I did was I created a project of 4.27 and then I converted it over to Unreal Engine 5 and we were good to go. So now that you know where that's at, I have everything running inside of Unreal Engine 5. The file is converted and everything. And so what I wanna do from here before anything else, I wanna actually click on this little button right here in the left hand side beside perspective and where it says show FPS, I wanna have the FPS running. So the only caveat is I'm running OBS in the background, but even with running OBS, I'm still getting good frame rates, just kind of navigating around the scene here. So you can see it's bouncing from anywhere between like 24 to looks like around 60, depending where I am inside the scene. But actually, let me just run this and see how it runs once we have the sequence running in real time. So here's the start of the scene. We can see everything's kind of running at a solid 30 frames per second, which I'm really impressed about, especially because we have the recording software in the background there. So this is just the scene where it's gonna show these two guys fighting here. And this has some really cool lighting effects in there. You can see we have some volumetric lighting. We have some dust particles in there. We have a ton of reflections on the ground along with the motion capture characters in there. So there's a lot that's going on inside the scene. I believe it was produced at 30 frames per second. So for it to hold a solid 30 frames per second is really impressive here. So for that scene to hold a solid 30 frames per second all the way through, I'm really impressed on how this performance is. Let me go down here to the content drawer. Let's open up the level sequencer for this scene here. So I believe it's sequencer right there subway sequencer and yeah so this scene was built out at 30 frames per second and so it held a solid 30 frames per second the entire time so i'm really impressed how this scene performed but let's actually go into something that's a little bit more interactive and see if we can get the same results so i'm back in the epic games launcher i'm inside the marketplace here i want to show you the scene that i'm going to be testing for this particular test here and so all i had to do is come over to the marketplace right here if you type in art or fashion, this should pop up, but this is by Decagon Studio. They make a ton of really cool assets in the marketplace there. But this one, I believe is still completely free. I know it was free for one month there, but it, when I double checked on it, I think they made it free permanently. So you should be able to download this program here. So once again, this is built for 4.27. So I create a project and then I convert this to Unreal Engine 5 and that's where we're gonna run our test. So let me exit this out and I already have it running in Unreal Engine 5. And for this particular gallery right here, and so this is the template, like if you wanted to make like a, a virtual gallery or anything, hang up your artwork or put your particular pieces in there, this template is gonna whisk get you started. And so what's cool is they built this with the third person character in mind, so we can actually navigate with the controller. So like I have my Xbox controller here, which I like to use. So what I'm gonna do is come back over here by perspective, come down here to show FPS. So I wanna see my frame rate. And actually let me fly around in here a little bit before I start the demo here. So you can see we have a ton of lights in here. We have a lot of geometry in here as well. And so I'm actually gonna start the demo here cause we're getting a pretty good frame rate. It looks like around 45 frames per second, hit or miss right there. So let me actually come up here, click play. And now let's see how our frame rate is running. So let me click inside my viewport and there we go. So. It's pretty smooth. It's running at about anywhere between 30 and 35 once we get into the interactive mode here, which is really impressive. I mean, for like a console game, this is pretty much what you would get. But I'm seeing, I'm liking how smooth this is running through this demonstration. And so let's actually see what other demonstrations they have in here. I know they have some other cool scenes. So I'm gonna actually exit this out. Let me open up my content drawer. Let's see what other maps we have in here. So the car showcase, that should be a good one. So let me double click on this to open this up. 
and there we go. So I'm going to close my content drawer. And in this particular scene, it looks like we're hitting about 60 frames per second. Let me walk around in here because we have some illuminating lighting, which I have with the lumen in here. So you can see some core reflections off the car and everything of the sort. So let me hit play in here as well. Let's see what kind of frame rates we get. So once I run up on the stage, this is where I was expecting a dip, but we're still getting around 40 frames per second, which is really impressive there. So again, these are files that were taken from version 4.27 and brought into Unreal Engine 5, but with the preview one, it's actually built off of 4.27 architecture. So it was easy to convert our scenes over to Unreal Engine 5. So that's gonna do it for this demonstration. I just really wanted to jump into Unreal Engine 5 preview one and see how it performs on this laptop since I'm gonna be hitting the road. I wanna see if I can actually use this for client work and I'm quite impressed on the performance of it. It's keeping at a solid frame rate inside the viewport, which is really important for when I'm working because the whole reason I came to Unreal for my client work was because I like working in real time whenever I'm working inside the viewport and so for my next stress test for my next video i believe i'm going to actually jump into vr with this laptop here i have the hp reverb 2 and i want to see how it performs when i'm doing stuff inside of vr and unreal engine because when i do like conventions and stuff like that i do love to showcase some of my scenes inside of vr and so that's going to be my next test there so if you guys found this video helpful and informal make sure you leave me a comment down below if you're new to the channel of course hit that subscribe button and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i catch you guys in the next video i'll see you soon take care what up, what up? Wimbush here.